Spinal muscular atrophy otherwise known as SMA, is a hereditary disorder. Um, it's a neurodegenerative disorder. There are several different types of spinal muscular atrophy, and uh, the most significant form of spinal muscular atrophy is what we call SMA type 1. And this often occurs in very small infants. And progressively over time, each of these patients will lose uh, movement, will lose function in their muscles. I met Rikari and his parents when he was just within one week of life. Rikari was our first patient uh, who did receive gene therapy at Children's Hospital of Michigan. We discussed uh, the diagnosis of spinal muscular atrophy, specifically what is needed to uh, confirm that he does have spinal muscular atrophy, and then we discussed the different treatments, and we also did discuss gene therapy as one of those treatments. So benefits of gene therapy uh, in particular are uh, keeping the motor neurons that are still alive and healthy and preserving them over a very long period of time. Our goal in treating very early is that we're uh, not even seeing signs or decline in infants yet and any decline that we may see is very mild and that uh, the benefits then are that uh, that infant is going to go on and do the things that we want the baby to do. And it's particularly beneficial for uh, infants uh, because um, it is a one-time treatment, it's a one-time infusion, and then our goal usually is uh, with treating these uh, infants that we're able to start this process and then complete this process within the first month of their life. SMA previously was not on the newborn screen, and there are a number of disorders that are on the newborn screen. What really uh, pushed the movement for uh, SMA to be added to the newborn screen was uh, the uh, discovery of several treatments for spinal muscular atrophy, and uh, most specifically, the thought is uh, time is muscle. So the earlier we can diagnose babies, uh, the better off uh, their prognosis will be, the better off they will do in life. In order to get gene therapy, uh, both on the newborn screen as well as uh, as a uh, treatment here at Children's Hospital of Michigan, I can say it was very much a labor of love. So uh, for Ricari now, being six months old, uh, he is actually doing everything he should be doing, and uh, he and his parents um, have done great throughout everything. I feel it's really, really important that we're able to provide this treatment for our patients uh, who have SMA and for our family specifically. Uh, and um, I just, I really think it's just one of the most wonderful things I've ever experienced.